Well, you're right. This is uh, supposedly the most progressive state in Victoria, according to the newly elected Premier. Uh, look, the, the worst piece of fallout, I think, is this absurd idea being put around that the Liberal Party lost in Victoria because it wasn't uh, left-wing enough and wasn't, uh, quote, small L liberal enough. Uh, the, the, that, that, that's a really dangerous and unhelpful idea. The fact of the matter was the guy opposition did have good policies, for example, on energy, things like abolishing Daniel Andrews' crazy 50%, oh, sorry, 40% rather, renewable energy target and reopening Victoria to conventional gas exploration. But those announcements were made, made way, way too early. When the campaign proper went, got underway, uh, the only energy policies we really saw were stupid gimmicks like... Uh, uh, discounted TVs and fridges. I don't think they helped the cause of the Liberal Party in Victoria. I think they, it, didn't, it made it look like a less than serious uh, opposition. And that kind of Oprah Winfrey style giveaway politics, uh, frankly, doesn't wash any more respect. It, it, it might when the Labor Party does it, because it has credibility. It's not really the way the Liberal Party can win elections anymore. Uh, I, 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 there have been a few senior federal politicians who've said that the Liberal Party should stop fixating on social issues. That's a reasonable point as far as it goes, if a little bit simplistic, but on energy, that is not a social issue. That is a very serious economic issue, and the Liberal Party cannot relent from reflecting mainstream values, uh, like bringing down energy prices in this area. So I think the Liberal Party really needs to have a Bex and a lie down and refocus on the kind of good Liberal policies that frankly won us government federally in 2013.